Hi, I am Shane from the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and welcome to part three of our Gretsch USA drum set shootout. Today, we're talking about rock kits. 22 inch bass drum, 12 inch tom, 16 inch floor tom, and a six and a half inch deep 14 inch snare drum. So just like last time, we've got Tony, the mad wizard with the tune bot, tuning all the drums to exactly the same so each kit has the same tension across the board. If you want those settings, or if you want the info to buy these drums directly, or the TuneBot, or the cymbals that we used, or the Earthworks mics, look at the links below. Of course, if you want to get your best price on these drum sets, then the best thing to do is just give us a call. First drum set that we're going to do today is the USA Custom. Now, the USA Custom is the classic Gretsch high-end drum set. And this is the six ply maple gum shell and that's maple on the inside and the outside and four plies of gum on the inside. And these drums also feature die cast hoops. Now for me, the USA Custom has sort of been that one line for Gretsch and, in it, and for many years that was the case. And now we have some differences, which is very nice. But to me, this is the staple of what Gretsch drums are. This is the sound, this is that that real wide sound with a very pronounced stick attack. This is the sound that every other drum company has tried to replicate at one time or another. And they're very fun to play. They, are, uh, they have this real specific sound. And that's the one thing I really love about Gretsch drums is that when you hear them, there's no mistaking that, well, okay, these are Gretsch drums. And uh, of course the bass drums are just so great. They have incredible low end and punch and I mean, I feel that they're among the best bass drum sounds out there. I mean, there's a reason that there's so many studios that just have Gretsch drums as their, their house recording kit. And most of the time, it's these. Next up is the Broadcaster Series drums. Now these are the newest addition to their high-end line, but it's actually based on the oldest uh, model of the drums that they were making way back when. They're very thin three-ply shell, maple poplar, with an interior scarf joint. And these drums have the 302 hoops, which is a double flanged hoop, or stick choppers, if you will. That three-ply shell is something they offered up until 59, I think, 1959. And so these are drums that were uh, not tuned as high back then. These were bigger drums uh, servicing the big band market. So today it's almost kind of an accident what's happening. They're not, so, not really meant to accommodate modern tuning and modern playing. I was lucky enough to uh, help out uh, with the prototype of this kit several years ago when they were thinking about bringing these back. And the very, the prototype kit was large sizes. 
And in my mind, I was sort of feeling like this was going to be great as a big band drum set um, for people that wanted uh, really old style drums to have that, that sound. I didn't really think much more than that. I didn't feel like it was going to become more of a modern rock thing. And that's sort of what happened. And we've seen some videos come out of some session guys uh, recording with these broadcaster drums. And it's like, wow, these are really good. <laughs> and they're good in modern situations, too. If you ask me, I mean, it's, like a, it's a definitely a different feel. It's a different sound. It is the most limited in terms of tuning range. But where it is and where it lives, once you have it there, it's really great. They have a... Uh, a bit of a dryness and they have a, a, bit, a bit more of a dry attack, but a really welcoming sound. Finally, we have the Brooklyn Series drums. Now, these are the most affordable of their USA offerings. Six-ply shell, maple poplar with the 302 hoop. If you're wondering why does this one cost less, well, there's just less options. USA Custom is, or Broadcaster, you have a bit more options in terms of mounting hardware or colors. Brooklyn, it gets a little bit more limited. So as long as you're not getting too crazy with your desires, then Brooklyn's a great way to look because you're not sacrificing any bit of quality by going with Brooklyn. You're just getting less options, and that's fine for a lot of people. So these have a little bit, little bit more of an uh, open sound, a uh, little less focus, a little bit more boom.
in conclusion of all those drum, these drum sets, if I mean they're all great. <laughs> it's if I mean I feel like I can identify the most with Brooklyn, but a lot of that is I I really like value for money and I just feel like Brooklyn delivers that on a silver platter. They're definitely the most modern sounding of all the the offerings. They have a bit of a a, a, a Ludwig characteristic to them, like the, you know, it's almost like a Gretsch wearing a, a Ludwig jersey. They just have that that thwomp. I was lucky enough to go down to Nashville a few years ago, and they brought us to Zach Brown's studio, the Southern Ground studio, and they had set up the Brooklyn and the Broadcaster and the USA Custom next to each other. And I had gone in fully expecting to like the Brooklyn. I was thinking that that was going to happen. And when they had all the three kits set up and and people were playing them and I got to play them. I ultimately concluded that I like the USA, I like the sound of the USA Custom the most during playback. So, you know, but that doesn't mean I didn't like the other ones because the Brooklyn's I love and the broadcasters are great too. We want to know what you think, so please let us know in the comments below and tell us what your favorite was. Thanks again for watching. I hope this helped you out uh, in, in your quest for finding the Great Gretsch sound for yourself. Uh, and of course, if you uh, want to buy any one of these kits, give us a call or come in to get your best price. Or if you want to configure and custom order your very own Gretsch drum set or drum set from any brand, give us a shout. So thanks for watching part three. Part four will be coming up and we'll be going very big rock with a 24 inch bass drum, 13 inch rack, 16 inch floor, six and a half snare. That's gonna be a fun one. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notifications button there so that when we post these videos, you'll be the first to know.